Welcome to another Tech Help Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about the option compare keyword. There's three options. There's compare, binary, and text. And we're going to talk about those in today's video. All right, I was recently helping someone with a database problem, and it goes something like this. This isn't, this isn't exactly what it is, but this, this shows you the problem. Okay, so I've got a button here. And the goal is to check to see if the email address listed here is somewhere in the notes field, okay? And it's real simple code. It just says if in string, the in string function, if inside of notes, I find the email address, then I just wanna say, yep, otherwise, nope. All right, and if you're not familiar with the in string function, here's a video on it. It returns a zero if it doesn't find the one string inside of the other one, otherwise it returns its location in the string. Okay, now just looking at this, I see my email address is right there. Okay, so this should return a yep, but when I hit it, it gives me a nope. Why is that? Well, let's take a look and see if we can figure it out. Here's the entire module. In fact, I'm gonna delete everything after that. We don't need all that stuff. This is it, this is the entire module. Can you figure out what the problem is and why in string isn't working? There's the code and I'll move this down so you can see what's in the in the stuff too. All right, there's the email address and there it is inside of notes. Why isn't it working? Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. All right, well, the reason is, and if you guessed it because of the name of this video, uh, is we're missing the option compare statement. Now up top, by default, you should have option compare database up here. And I also strongly recommend option explicit. Option explicit, I got a whole separate video on that one. I'll put a link to it down below. That one says that if there are any undeclared variables in here, let me know, give me a warning, don't compile properly. If you go debug compile, it'll catch it. Okay, so that's what option explicit does. The other one, option compare, tells Access how to compare text, how to compare, how to do comparisons, how to do sorting. All right, and there's three different options. There's compare, there's binary, and there's text. Let's take a look at the differences. All right, here they are. There's compare database, binary, and text. Now, the only two I usually ever use are database and binary, okay? Database is a case insensitive search, and that's the one that I use 99% of the time, all right? So in this particular type, if I do over here, if I make sure I specify option compare database, now when I run this, it works. I get a yep, okay? Because if you don't have that specified, if you don't have this here, the default is binary, okay, binary. And a binary search means it's gotta be exact, character for character. And if I do it now, I get the nope, that was the default. If you don't specify it, you get binary. Why? Because capital A, Amicron, is not the same as lowercase. If I change this now to a lowercase here, let's say, and hit check, I get the yep because now they're exactly the same, okay? All right, so the major difference here between database and binary is it's case sensitive versus case insensitive. Okay, that's, and that's pretty much the, if you wanna do an exact search, like if you're doing passwords, you might wanna make sure that it's case sensitive, right? Uppercase A is different from lowercase A. Now, as far as the difference between database and text goes, again, I almost never use text. But the difference is option compare database is location based. So if you're in, for example, one of the many countries with a different alphabet, okay, it'll, it'll have different rules for you. Whereas option compare text is generic text comparisons. All right, so database binary, case sensitive, insensitive, Apple and Apple are the same. Here, Apple is not the same as Apple. Okay, and this, the, low, the, the, the capital A is gonna be sorted lower than the lowercase a because this is actually ASCII 65 and this is ASCII something higher. I don't know what the value is off that top. I just always remember that ASCII 65 is A, capital A. It's 97 for lowercase, I had to look it up, sorry. I hate not knowing something, okay? Now the differences between database and text is that database is location aware. It's tied to your local regional settings, okay? Where does this come up? For example, in Sweden, okay? Uh, in English, Z always comes after Y, but in Sweden, you got this A character and that may come after Z. 
then that's if you're in if you've got your location set to Swedish. So that it makes a difference. So basically just make sure you've got option compare database, which is the, the normal thing that gets inserted. If you create a new module, right? If you go create and then module, you should get option compare database and option explicit at the top of the any new module. Right, My, the client that I was helping before that didn't have this just had somehow deleted that or was working with an old, old database that didn't have that in there. As far as option explicit goes, that's in here under tools and then options. You wanna make sure this box is checked. Require variable declaration. Very important, leave that guy on. As far as the other option goes, there really isn't a place where you can set it if you want like all your modules to be binary. But if you go into access options under general, there's this new database sort orders. When you create a new database and the options in here, you got general legacy, general, and then a whole bunch of different languages in here. So if you are Swedish, for example, pick Swedish and you'll get that type of default sort. There really isn't an option to default to binary. If you want binary search or uh, 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 sorting, you just have to come into here and just change this manually to binary. But this is something that I do like maybe once in a while, I'll set up a database that's got, you know, uh, I'll set up a, a module that has binary set there so that any functions I put in that module are case sensitive. But usually I don't bother with it. As far as general versus general legacy, that's eh, just, I leave it in legacy so it's compatible with older databases, but uh, I've never had a problem with it. So, but then again, I don't really deal with foreign language databases. English is it for me. So that's one of the things I tell lots of people that email me like, hey, can you help me with this specific rule? I'm in Germany now, sorry, I, I don't, I don't have any experience with other language versions of access. That's just, that's my one downfall. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know any other languages. All the languages I know are either English or programming languages. <laughs> a little bit of Klingon. So that's it. There you go. There's your fast tip tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. 
It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.